Hi friends, welcome to CA Inter Financial Management MCQs. I am C. N. Ujjalota. We are on a mission to be dealing with concepts and with logics. We are doing every sort of MCQ, but with an explanation, something that will help you to recap your entire chapter also. Ensure that you are thorough with all these MCQs. Let's start it off. Our question for today is from capital structure. The firm's optimal capital structure is, get me the four options please. Is debt equity ratio that results in minimum possible weighted average cost of capital? Okay, second one. Second one over here is 40% debt and 60% equity. What nonsense. Third, when debt equity ratio is 50-50 and lastly in this case when cost of equity is minimum. I guess most of you all will be able to answer. Please do that at this time. Now see, in this case, the question is like this. A firm's optimal capital structure is. Now, in your chapter number 5, what had happened, that there are a lot of theories that have been there. There is net income theory, there is net operating income theory. There is a traditional theory. All these theories are all about which is your best capital structure. We often say this particular thing that capital structure is best wherever your KO, KO means overall cost of capital is least. We are only interested in debt and equity to be very honest because all these theories had assumed that, that there is no preference shares. Okay, so therefore there is no concept of preference in all these theories. And whichever combination of debt and equity results in the least possible KO, that particular kind of a capital structure is best. If we try to look at the graph in this particular way, it will be something like this. On X axis, we try to be having debt. On Y axis, we try to have KO. And if we try to make a graph over here that at different levels of debt, how much is KO, there will be one point whereby KO will be least. That particular point over here will be the best point. So at this level, if you measure the debt and you measure the equity, we say that debt equity ratio will be the best one. So therefore, that kind of a debt equity ratio is the best one where KO is least. Okay. So out of the four answers, I guess it should be A over here. Because A says is that equity ratio that results in minimum possible weighted average cost of capital. So A should be the correct answer. Yeah, that is the correct answer. The aim of doing all these questions is that you get to answer these questions. It is only of use if you answer them. I'll see you all next time with another question. Till then, take care. Bye.